Okay, so we're gonna start with the one without the laces. Let's start right here on the front. We're gonna go, and we're gonna look at it at the, with the OG, so we can see some differences and stuff they did here. So OG's right here. Let's start with the toe, same toe. You got this part right here, the tongue. You had it black on here. Everything else is the same, except now when you get to the tongue. The serial numbers or whatnot is still there. Ooh, that light. And here's a, so this is 906-44WP7841. I didn't realize they all got the same. Let's see what this means. I'm sure, that has a Puma guys. What this means? Excuse my ashy hands. Just got out the shower. But who cares about my ashy hands, right? We're here for the sneakers. But um, yeah, it's the same. And then the difference on this one is the Puma teeth, the cat's teeth. So it doesn't have it on there, but it has it on here on the tongue, the cat's teeth. That's another part of the uh, one of the logos that they use for Puma Hoops. So that's a, one of Puma Hoops' logos is the cat teeth. Okay, as you can see here on the toe, this is Ralph Sampson's signature. And then these are called the Hall of Flames. So you need flames in the sneakers, right? Here's a hit of flames right here in red. On the corner of the... Of the Toe, um, I can't think about it today. On the quarter of the um, toe, toe cap, whatever you call it. Uh, here you go, it's the flames right here. On the side, we got the Ralph Sampson in gold. See, this is the high tops, so it's a little different. You got the Puma Majesty on the high tops. And you got the signature right here, but the signature's in gold. It's the same thing. We got the signature in gold, black form strip, and then Alexander John, his signature. If you're not familiar with Alexander John, get familiar with this guy. You know, he's a dope designer. Uh, he's done a lot of crazy dope collaborations. Last year's Complex Con, he did the mixtape, and then Nike and all these other ones started buying off his mixtape sneakers. But he was the original one who did the mixtape sneaker. Uh, on the Puma RSX toys. It was super 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 dope, uh, but he was the original one to do that So we keep turning around uh, the outsole Same thing right here on the bottom Now let's look at the back. He uh, went and colored this all black on the uh, on the heel We had the cat you got the Puma here in red and you got the hoops. So you got the black part here. So all the OGs got that little design, as you can see. This is blue, made a little black on the camera. So what he did was he painted, he got the hoops on there. That was real dope. Here's the inside, like form strip, and then flammable right here. Real dope. Flammable, because these are hot. These are definitely flames right here. And now let's take a look, take this out. And look at the insole. In the insole, you got 50. Ralph Sampson's number. So that's real dope. Now, the reason why these are unlaced is because of the laces. So he added all of Ralph Sampson's comp uh, accomplishments on these laces, which is real dope. Like, I remember Jordan has them on the bottom of his lace, but he put these on the laces which was super dope. And as you can see with the laces, those are all his accomplishments. But you can't really read all of them. So we're gonna unlace them, this other, other foot, so you can actually we can go over and read it. So you had, his, he was the number one draft pick in 1983. He was a four time all-star from 1984 to 1987. He was the rookie of the year in 1984. He was a NBA All-Star MVP in 1985. 
NBA All Second Team on 1985, and then it starts back again. NBA Draft pick, number one pick 1983, four time NBA All Star. Same thing, it goes around. So that's that. This sneaker, pretty much the same thing. Same thing. The main difference is the insole. I'm gonna see the inserts out. And on the inside, it says Houston, which is real dope. So you got Houston and then number 50. Houston Rockets, number 50. And that used to get us what's on the jersey shirts. So like I said, um, there was a lot of dope sneakers. One of the other dope sneakers at Complex Con uh, was definitely uh, the gold 24K Jordan 1s. Those were just amazingly beautiful. Like, those were super dope. Um, you had um, the other Puma was a Mac, uh, Mac uh, collaboration with Puma. And he did the uh, sweet Clyde. Yeah, he did the Clyde because Walt Frazier actually came uh, on the first day of Complex Con. And I missed Walt Frazier um, trying to find my way around the city. Ended up getting there late. And I just missed Walt Frazier. I'm kind of mad because I got the Walt Frazier jersey. Uh, I would love to have him sign that. Um, but Mac uh, did a collaboration. Those and he, man, the collaboration was super tight. Um, Atmos and Nike uh, did their um, collaboration as well um, and that was a dope collaboration uh, but the main one I was seeking uh, were these right here thank you Puma uh, thank you Alexander John dope 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 design right here I am one of 50 to have these I was so upset I wasn't able to grab uh, the mixtape ones that dropped last year. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be at the Long Beach one. Uh, that would be dope if he is at the Long Beach for another collaboration. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Like I said, if you got these or if you got any of the Ralph Sampson sneakers, you got the white, red, and blue. You got some black ones that drop. The jersey goes with all of them. You know what I'm saying? So, you, the jersey, you can rock the jersey with all of them. You know, so sneakers in the con, yeah, sneakers. Yeah, I can't talk today, y'all. So sneakers in the fox dot com. Go, go ahead and uh, place your order. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at sneakers in the fox. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And um, your boy's out. The fox, aka Swiper. One, two, three.